Hey guys, this is Philhome1407, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create custom wooden supports. Um, so, I have built a lift hill and a drop here, and this, I'm just going to do this in sections because this is going to take quite a bit of time um, to do. So, without further ado, um, I'm I, I'm just using the in-game wooden coaster. What I'm going to be doing will also apply to the Woden CT that's part of the Europa uh, Pep Team Park add-on um, CT. You can use the same method with that. Um, but first off, with this, with the in-game supports, you either want to go here and toggle ride supports, or you want to go into settings and turn off supports in the LOD options. Now, when you're building, I would recommend just toggling the supports. Um, and then if you really feel like it, you can go in with the LODs later and turn off all the supports. But anyway, um, so first thing you want to do after building your ride and toggling the supports <laughs> is uh, you want to Make sure you have a grid. You are uh, you have the grid uh, turned on, and then you're gonna go to scenery items, and you're going to I I just find this a lot easier to turn off all the the, the themes um, and to collapse the the pieces. Um, but you're gonna be using Big Burger's timber. Uh, and Big Burger's Timber Footers. And you have an option of the 30 centimeter timber pieces and the 20 centimeter timber pieces. I prefer to use the 20 because I think that the 30 look a little bit thick. Um, so we're gonna be using the 20 centimeter pieces on this tutorial. And this method that I do, I'm not claiming that this is like the best way to do it or the correct way to do it but this is just how I do my supports so um, you want to take this up to oh and it's not even the right color make sure your supports are the right color you don't want to have to go in and paint them later because that's really a pain in the butt um, but you hit your shift key and drag that up to meters Oh, and I already placed one in the wrong place. Um, with the wooden in-game wooden coaster, because you have these supports here, when you go to click on it or right-click, delete, it won't uh, delete. You have to click on the outside piece here, the very of it, in order for it to delete. So that is a bit of a pain. Um, when working with the in-game track, but you kind of get used to it. Um, and this is just kind of laying the base down. And then you want to go in and I connect them this way. I feel a bit awkward uh, playing in full screen because I usually play in window mode because then I can run YouTube in the background and play music or run iTunes or something and I don't have to switch windows. So you get, I, I get used to uh, the feel of everything in a very, very um, small window. You don't have to drag your mouse quite as much. Um, so now that we've got our base for our supports, um, you want to take these horizontal pieces and you want to connect them 
to the track like so and just do that one grid at a time you don't have to do this but I think that um, it looks better when you do this because when you get into turns and things um, it's kind of a, a must have um, when you're working with the turns and things which we'll get into in another video um, and once you've done that go the horizontal way this way um, and nope wrong piece. Um, you're gonna, for the transitions, you're gonna use, you basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna trace the shape of this hill. Um, and so for this transition from flat to, a, you're gonna use a 1H uh, angled piece. And then on the lift itself, you're going to use a 2H angled and you're going to just go all the way up to the tip top. And now when you get to the steep drops, this is where it gets a little bit more tricky because you're going to have to figure out um, the what angle to use. I think, yeah. This is a four, so the transition from gentle to steep is a four on um, the in-game wooden track. I can't remember what it is on the wooden track. Um, and then I believe you go to, what is this? Seven, maybe? No, you go to an eight. So you use an eight on the steep piece. Now, from far away, my, my LED settings are making it look like this is going over the rails, but in reality, it's well, just a little bit, but not really that much. Um, but it's not really any. There's no need for concern there. Um, okay, so now that we've done that, um, I don't, when I'm doing the um, end game wooden track and I'm not using the wooden CT um, I do all of the interior um, stuff before I put the vertical pieces because of the um, if you mess up and you have to delete something you have to delete uh, it from the side and if there's a vertical piece blocking whatever you're trying to delete you have to delete that vertical piece and then delete that uh, piece inside of the support and so um, and, but when you're working with the wood NCT, because it doesn't have wooden supports, it has no supports, um, you don't have that problem. But since I'm working with in-game uh, track, I'm just going to do the inside pieces first. Uh, so I typically count when I, when I do this, um, I start from the base and I start with the horizontal pieces and I go up four squares already there so we don't need to count up anymore there go to the next one count up four or what you could do is you could just rotate that and do that and you'd get a height mark for where that needs to be so you've got that and so I I generally just kind of use these as height marks for how high each section needs to be and then I'll go in with the other perpendicular pieces and then once you've done that you just continue up 
one, two, three, four. Oh, there's another one. So just continue the pattern. So once you're done um, with that, going up the hill with that pattern, uh, it's going to look something like this. And then you want to take your 4H um, angled beam pieces and you just want to go in and add those to Uh, the horizontal pieces like that. Um, and for the parts that, like this, where there's really no space uh, for 4H, for I believe it's a 2H, yeah. So you're going to put a 2H in these smaller spots. And... This part really doesn't take too long. It's just a little bit... Wooden supports are just a little bit tedious because they take a lot longer to build. <laughs> I think it's a shame that um, nobody or really figured out um, like a good solution to <laughs> building custom supports um, while people were still really modding this game. Um, Cause unfortunately now that Planet Coaster came out there's really not many mods for it that are coming out. It's kind of sad, really. So you've got your diagonal pieces. Um, and now what you want to do is you're going to take your 4H pieces again, and you can either go up the side like this and have these angled pieces going back like this, or what I typically do um, is I do uh, more of a design like this where I go up as far as I can with that, and then you kind of make a diamond, and these are just braces for supports, really. Um, if you're building a older style wooden coaster and it's you're trying to make it look kind of vintage, they, they really didn't put as many of these on their supports. Um, I always stress uh, the use of photo references for supports because when you're striving for realism it just it helps a lot. And then, so on this end piece we're going to use a 2H to connect that and we're going to go 2H there. Um, same thing on the other side. And then you just want to repeat this pattern on the other side. But before we do that, let's deal with this steeper section. Um, because I'm trying to think what the best way to deal with this is. I think I 
Let's do a 4H there, 4H there. A 2H there. A 2H there. 4-H there. Looks kind of weird right now. Um, eight. And then a 1-H. And also put a 1-H on the end. Um, I think that'll look okay once we get the vertical pieces in, but right now it kind of just looks like a mess. A hot mess. <laughs> so... I'm going to go ahead and go in and finish the rest of these um, braces and then we can put in the vertical beams. And if your your eyes start hurting after looking at this for a while, then take a break by all means. Um, because this here building wooden supports, it's it's very easy to get headaches from it. At least for me, <laughs> I always get wood. I always get support or I get headaches from looking at these supports all the time. So here I'm just putting two H pieces. Um, and this little section. Like that. And then going back to the 1H piece there. Um, 4H piece here. And here. And then I need one. No. It needs to be a 2H. And I think oh, one more two one more two H on this side. And now Oh, I just realized I don't know if I I did not finish the top on this side. Okay. So you're gonna use a two H on this side. Just like that. Go around to the other, do the exact same thing. And now we can do our vertical pieces. So basically you just want to start, I'm lazy so I just use the 8H pieces like all the time. <laughs> um, but you just go up to the top and I usually work my way down. These vertical pieces really tie everything together once all of your interior stuff is done. It looks a lot more complete, obviously. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And then after we do these vertical pieces, I will cover 
um, the kind of outer braces um, of a wooden support like this because they're pretty simple and they're kind of necessary with a lot of structures. Um, and I'll I'll just do it on one side. I'm not gonna do both sides, and I'll do it that's that's um, more lit than the other. Um, and I'm just gonna go up um, to this section here, and we're gonna do we're gonna make it. Ten meters off the ground. And basically you just go in and put horizontal pieces going outward from the structure and you do that till you kind of run out of room, like right here. I mean, you could keep doing that and put a what we're going to do is we're going to put 4H pieces like so. Um, but let's get these connected first. Uh, You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do this for an example, and use a 2H two angle, uh, two angle piece on that spot right there. Um, the rest is going to be 4 angles, or 4H angled, and you just put those all along the top here. Now, inside of this, instead of going the same direction to fill these uh, parts in. Flip it the hor uh, one, around 180 like so and do that and it'll look more like that. And then just fill in those parts And then once you've done that, just mirror these um, diamond-shaped uh, braces that we've put in before to kind of tie it all together. Another thing you can do um, with these, if you want to continue this diamond shape up into the, uh, the portion that's angled, um, is you can scroll down and you can use the diagonal angled pieces. And so, like, you could take the 4H di diagonal angled piece and here where this piece goes like that place one there, rotate it the opposite direction, and do that. And it kind of adds a little bit more, so it's a little bit more structure to it, so it's not so empty. Um, I think this, this tends to look better when this is done. And then with this 2H piece, you're going to use your diagonal 2H angled piece. And then you're good to add your vertical pieces. 
And the last step for this tutorial is going to be footers, which... You want to be a little bit careful with when you're doing uh, the in-game structure or wooden track because look, we have that issue with getting that are underneath the the in-game supports that are toggled off right now deleted um, so you want to be careful where you're placing stuff um, so we're going to use I usually use the square footers and so you just go in and place two footers and then um, there's this base piece that goes on top of the footer like so and then you just do that with all of your vertical pieces so this is probably Hmm, it's not the worst part, I guess. It's just you've got to zoom in and kind of really look what you're doing. Make sure you don't click <laughs> at the wrong time, like right here, because then you couldn't delete that. You'd have to go in and delete a piece of track and then delete it if you're really nitpicky, like me. And then add all of the base pieces. This is the end of this tutorial on how to make custom wooden supports. I will cover turns and banked turns in my next section. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in my next tutorial.